Hey everyone! Okay, so today's video is a much requested birdie school supplies haul. Basically, I'm going to show you guys my binders and how I organize everything, and then I'll show you what I have in my pencil cases and stuff. It's nothing really special, and then we go to my school and my locker, and I dropped it all off in my locker, and I'll show you guys like how I set it all up in my locker. So first, I'm going to talk about this, which is like my lifesaver. Um, basically, the folders aren't um, hooked in here yet, but this is what I call an everything binder. Um, I just suggest getting a durable one inch binder. And then I have this clear plastic covering and you can stick something in there like I'm going to put my schedule in there once I get it. And then basically what you have is, you, as you'll see later, you have a color binder for each class and then you can get coordinating colored folders. So, whenever your teacher gives you something to bring back home to get signed, or just a sheet of homework that you have to do, or just like some math problems you have to do, you can just take that and put it in your color coordinated folder. So, say this is my math color, the red one, and just put your assignment in here and take it home instead of taking home an entire binder. Some people take home their entire binder and then they have to take home three or four binders a night and that is just so tedious. Um, so this goes with you to every single class and this is what I do, I thought of it myself. So basically you just put all your homework and stuff in here that you need to take home. If you need to take home a notebook, you just take it home with this or a book and it's a lot less bulky than taking home like three binders. So that's my quick tip for you guys, and this is what I do. And the reason why they're not in there is because I sort them by order of class. So like, we got like first period, second period, third period. And I haven't figured out my schedule yet, because they haven't mailed them home yet. So on to the video, okay, and I hope everyone. you guys so enjoy. So here we are by my second closet in a different room. Um, but here's my coats and my hoodies for winter. Um, okay, so. This is where I emptied out my binders since, as I said, I'm reusing them. And I'm going to show you just how I did that, okay? I have all my work in here. So this was like $3 at Target and it fits everything just because you never know when you're going to need something again. So basically I recommend after emptying out your binders to do that. And now... I basically just emptied out my binders. I kept all the notebooks. So these are all my notes from the sophomore year. Uh, but I threw out all the folders and excess, um, like, you know, and like the labels and stuff. So this is my extra binder. Um, but this is how I organize my binders. These are by far the best binders ever. They're from Staples, very durable. I recommend one and a half inches instead of one because one, you won't be able to fit everything, and two, you will be able to fit more, but it's kind of bulky to be carrying around. So what I do is I label the side. So this is gonna be my honors physics binder. And then I color coordinate inside a folder and a matching notebook. And then here is where all like the handouts and tests will go. I've never been much of a um, tab divider person unless a class requires it. I usually don't use the tab dividers. So basically I use the college rule notebooks and then I use a matching folder to keep all the important stuff. And I bring this with me to class. So basically all of these are the same, like this one will be my AP US History binder, and it's got the folder, and since I couldn't find a yellow notebook, I just put a black one in. Okay, so here it is. My lockers right here. I don't want anyone to really see my combination, so... Okay, so it's the skinniest locker in the world. So right here I put, this is like a picture frame that I didn't put anything in, my um, dry erase board and extra pencils, sharpies, and pens, pencils and sharpies are in here. 
just extras. And then I have some pictures here with me and my sister, me and my friends, and then just a picture of me and two of my friends were supposed to be in it, but they got cut off by the circle. And then down here, sorry it's a little bit dark, I have two binders for classes, and um, then I have my assignment notebook, which looks like this. Um, calculator, which looks like this, and then pencil case. So we got like mechanical pencils, colored pencils, pens, normal pens, and highlighters. And I'm just storing these in here, but usually they come in my purse. So after the first day of school, these will be in my purse. And then up top, I have a box. And I have four more binders up here. So, that's how it is. And, yeah. So, the reason, I'm not sure which ones. Um, I'll come back one day and fix it when I get my schedule. But, one day, the day with less classes, the binders go there. And the day with more classes, the binder goes there. So, last year I had four academic classes on gold day. Um, goes there. And then I had one academic class on purple day. So I just sort them according to days and I haven't figured that out yet but that's my locker.